Hello everyone, welcome to Parents Making an Investment. It's Janelle Stewart here. And I just want to um, just encourage us all today. There are times where, you know, we believe. We believe what have been spoken to us. We believe um, the path that we're on. But there are some times that doubt tries to creep in and you know and challenge what we believe and so you start questioning you know and wondering if this is the right direction if this is the right decision if this is the right way that you're going and so i just want you to know today that it is okay it's okay to be honest with yourself when you have doubts and it is also okay to be honest and to say, you know, that I'm kind of questioning this. And you don't have to say it to anybody out loud. You can say it to God, you know, and just talk to him. And the reason why I say this is because there was a man in the Bible and he was the father of a child in Mark 9, verse 24. And he believed God. He believed God that he was able to deliver his child and to heal his child. But there was a part in him that he was still questioning and doubting. And he asked God, and he said, Father, I believe. Help my unbelief. And so sometimes we get in that doubtful place. And I just want you to know today that you can say it to God. God, I believe what you've spoken to me. I believe what you have shown me. I believe that this is you telling me to go in this direction. But help my unbelief. That on the belief that comes from self, not from the spirit of God, but just sometimes we're looking at things in the natural and not in the spiritual. And it causes us to question because in order for us to sometimes see things, we have to see through the eyes of faith. We have to see it even before it's there, even before it's manifested. We have to see, we have to believe that it is and that it, it will come to pass and it will happen. We have to believe it before we see it. And we also have to act as if it's already happened. And so therefore our faith can manifest it into the natural. But we do have doubts at times. And so I want to encourage you today. If you're having doubts, if you're second guessing yourself, today, ask him, ask God, say, help my unbelief. I believe that this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. This is what you've called me to. This is the house for me. This is, you know, the job for me, but help my unbelief. So you don't start living in doubt of what you believe is yours today. And I'm going to tell you one thing too, just a little note too. When you get in this place of, you know, um, questioning, you have to also be careful with who you talk to. You, it's not to say that you stop, you know, being friends or what, you know, or choosing who, but in a sense you are. You want to make sure in this time where you're being doubtful that you don't talk to people that are pessimistic but you talk to people that are optimistic, that can see beyond where they are, see beyond where they see you and where you are, because these people will help you. They will help to just encourage you to continue to believe in what has spoken, believe in what you believe, and they'll believe right along with you. And so you want to surround yourself in this time where you are with people that are optimistic and they will help, they will hold your hand and they will encourage you when you feel discouraged, when you are having doubts, they will come along and encourage you. And so if you know you have friends 
that I always seen the glass a little bit half empty instead of half full. I am imploring you today and encourage you today. Do not reach out to them if you are being if you are having doubts. This is not the time to reach out to them. But this is the time to reach out to those people that see the glass half full and that sees possibility before disappointments. Those are the people that you want to share, that you are ha- you're questioning and that you're feeling and you're having doubt and you're unsure about this decision. Those are the people that you want to contact. Believe me, because they're not going to discourage you from what you already started to do. They're not going to d- deter you from what you have spoken to them and you believe that is what you're supposed to be doing right now, is what is for you right now. They won't do that. And so those are the people that you want to text, call, connect with in your season of being doubtful. And tell yourself that all things are possible. And it is for you. What is for you is for you. And so help my unbelief, Father. I believe, but help my unbelief. So today, Mark 9, verse 24, if you are having doubts, just say, I believe, but help my unbelief, help the doubt I'm having today. So you can rise up and continue to see the path that you are on. And even in this cloudy moment, that there are possibilities. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. May you be encouraged today and continue to believe.